Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand and join us in the recitation of the Liturgy of the Hour, Morning Prayer. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Invitatory Antiphon, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Invitatory Psalm 95, come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is risen, alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The Lord is risen, alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. The Lord is risen, alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meriba and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The Lord is risen, alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Jesus Christ is risen today. all be seated. Psalmody, Antiphon 1, all together. I shall not die, but live, and proclaim the works of the Lord. Alleluia. 
Psalm 118, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, His love endures forever. Let the sons of Aaron say, His love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and freed me. The Lord is at my side. I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The nations all encompass me. In the Lord's name, I crush them. They compass me, compass me about. In the Lord's name, I crush them. They compass me about like bees. They blaze like a fire among thorns. In the Lord's name, I crush them. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord came to help me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is my savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate, where the just may enter. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Go forward in procession with branches, even to the altar. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm prayer. Lord God, you have given us the great day of rejoicing. Look, Jesus Christ, the stone rejected by the builders, has become the cornerstone of the church, our spiritual home. Shed upon your church the rays of your glory, that it may be seen as the gate of salvation open to all nations. Let cries of joy and exaltation ring out from its tents to celebrate the wonder of Christ's resurrection. Antiphon all together. I shall not die but live and proclaim the words of the Lord. Alleluia. Antiphon to all together. Blessed be your holy and glorious name, O Lord. Alleluia. Canticle. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord, praise and exalt him above all forever. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Antiphon all together. Blessed be your holy and glorious name, O Lord. Alleluia. Antiphon three all together. Give honor and praise to our God. All that he does is perfect, and all his ways are true. Alleluia. Some prayer. Lord God, maker of heaven and earth and of all created things, you make your just ones holy and you justify sinners who confess your name. Hear us as we humbly pray to you. Give us eternal joy with your saints. All together, give honor and praise to our God. All that he does is perfect and all his ways are true. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. God raised up Jesus on the third day and granted that he be seen, not by all, but only by such witnesses as he had been chosen before by God, by us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and to bear witness that he is the one set apart by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets testify, saying that everyone who believes in him has forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsory. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Alleluia, alleluia. You have risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Alleluia, Alleluia. Please all stand for the canticle of Zechariah. Antiphon all together. I am the shepherd of the sheep. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I know my sheep, and my sheep knows me. Alleluia. Oh, 
All together. I am the shepherd of the sheep. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Hallelujah. Intercessions. God the Almighty Father raised Jesus as the firstborn from the dead and made him our Savior. Let us call upon him, saying, Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. O Holy Father, you brought your beloved Son, Jesus, from the darkness of death into the splendor of your glory. Bring us also into your marvelous light, we pray. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. You have given us faith to save us. May we live today by the faith of our baptism, we pray. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. You command us to seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at your right hand. Do not let us be deceived by the allurements of sin, we pray. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. May our life, hidden with Christ in you, our Father, shine before the world, foreshadowing a new heaven and a new earth. We pray. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. Let us now pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us all together. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Concluding prayer, Almighty and ever-living God, Give us new strength from the courage of Christ, our shepherd, and lead us to join the saints in heaven, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom we were worthy to bring forth. Alleluia. As he promised is arisen. Alleluia. Pray for us to the Father. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O oh God, God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, grant that we may obtain through his virgin mother Mary the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of Jesus, the divine Good Shepherd, be with you all. And with your spirit. Today is Good Shepherd Sunday, a day of special prayer for priestly, religious, and missionary vocations. We honor and thank, first of all, Jesus, the senior Good Shepherd, who laid down his life for the salvation of all human beings. We also honor, thank, and pray for the junior good shepherds who were chosen and sent by Jesus himself to minister to our spiritual needs. It is also our duty to pray that many more may heed the invitation of the senior good shepherd and respond to it with generous faithfulness. Gathered together as God's flock around our divine leader, let us realize that every time we commit sin, we behave like the sheep that go astray from God's flock. In all humility, let us acknowledge our sinfulness and ask His forgiveness. You are the good shepherd who laid down your life for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We are the sheep that have often gone astray. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We have sometimes failed to appreciate and support 
the junior shepherds you sent to guide us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks. 
to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. I will give thanks to you for you have answered me and have been my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His kindness endures forever. The stone rejected by the A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God, yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do not know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. shepherd says the Lord I know my sheep and mine know me The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own, sees a wolf coming 
and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for my sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. This also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This I command, or this command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. On this uh, fourth Sunday of Easter, we also celebrate the Good Shepherd Sunday. The image of God as a good shepherd shows how tender, caring, and loving our God is. Brothers and sisters, who are the good shepherds in your life? And why do you consider them as good shepherds? For most of us, it could be our parents. Because of their selfless service and love for the family, you know, many fathers and mothers would give up their promising career or profitable opportunities simply to take good care of the family and assist their children in their growing years. They know that their utmost priority and primary responsibility in life as parents. So they are indeed today's good shepherds. Now, what makes a shepherd good? Or what are the qualities of a good shepherd? Let us mention some. First, a good shepherd knows his sheep, and he knows them by name. He can distinguish each sheep belonging to the flock. And because he knows them in an intimate way, the sheep follows the shepherd. Kaya mahalaga po na kilala mo who are the sheep under your care. Do you know your sheep? Do you know your family? Do you know the people entrusted to you. It is in knowing them that you can establish a deeper relationship. Are you aware of the pains? Are you aware of the struggles, of the needs of every individual under your care? They are your sheep and you ought to know them by heart. Second, a good shepherd must be skillful in pasturing the sheep. You know, it is not enough to know where the good pasture is. A good shepherd must lead the sheep to the good pasture. A good shepherd feeds well the sheep. Are you a good provider? You know, being a good provider does not mean giving only the material needs of the family. 
the most important things in life are not things. So give your shepherd, give your family hope, give them inspiration, give them strength, give them courage, and above all, give them love as they face the harsh realities of life. Lead your sheep to the right direction of life. Alam po natin na kapag tayo po ay namatay, we cannot bring whatever we have accumulated in this world. We cannot bring them beyond our grave. But we can bring our children, we can bring our family, our sheep to God. So lead your sheep closer to the Lord. Third, a good shepherd watches over his sheep. You know, sometimes sheep easily wander. Thus, a good shepherd keeps a careful watch over them. If they go astray, he brings them back to the fold. And he also looks out for our any impending danger lurking in the bushes. He gathers the sheep and does not scatter or drive them away. Sana sa mga tinitingala as good shepherds. Ito man ay nasa ating pamilya or sa ating lipunan, dapat tayo ay iniingatan, hindi tayo pinapahamak. At sana sa gitna ng mga panganib, tayo ay tinitipon like a hen who gathers her brood under her wings. Brothers and sisters, are you the source of unity in your family? And do you care for the black sheep in your family? Or you drive them away? Or you become indifferent and exposing them to danger? Remember, the black sheep is still a sheep. Spend quality time and keep watch of your family because they need you most. A good shepherd defends his flock and he is always ready to defend them against any aggressor. Hindi po siya isang bayaran na pagdating ng panganib, he will simply fade away. A good shepherd offers his life to protect his sheep. Brothers and sisters, how far can you go in defending your family against the threats of modern society? Or are you the first to defend and appreciate your family and the last one to criticize? Sadly, sometimes it is the opposite. We are the first or the last to know what is happening in our family. We cannot defend our sheep if we do not know what is going on with them. So today, as we celebrate the Good Shepherd Sunday, let us be good shepherds to one another. And let us pray for more good shepherds to our church. That means let us pray for more vocations to the priesthood because we are lacking of good sheep, of good pastors. Alam po ninyo, dito po sa ating diocese, no? We are in dire need of priests. We have 38 diocesan priests being served by only 56 active diocesan priests. In 10 years' time, 
12 of our priests will be retiring. We only have nine seminarians studying high school, college, and theology. So, sigurado na po yun, after 10 years, 12 will be retiring. San po tayo kukuha? San po kami kukuha ng papalit? Because we only have nine seminarians. Kaya hindi po nakapagtataka that a parish as big as the mother of the church has only one pastor. Saan naman po kukuha si Bishop ng ilalagay as the assistant parish priest? Wala siyang choice. So pray for more vocations. This school year, isa lang yung natanggap sa San Carlos Seminary. The other two, uh, one ay hindi pa nakapasa. The other one, uh, still on the process. So kung may papasok po ngayon to study in a seminary, 10 years pa yung aantayin natin. So sana every year ay meron pong pumapasok. Sabi nga ni Bishop Ches, sana ko ang bawat parokya, the 38 parishes, can send one seminarian to the seminary every year, hindi po tayo problema. But only four tried to uh, enter the seminary this year. Isa pa lang po yung natatanggap. Wala pong galing sa Mary, Mother of the Church. So pray for more vocations para makapamili po kayo. Sometimes nireklamo po natin. Ayaw namin ng pastor namin. Wala namang choice si Bishop. Pray so that we will have more priests in the near future to serve our growing community. Brothers and sisters, let Jesus be the model of what it means to be a good shepherd. You know, for those who did not experience having a good shepherd in your life, always remember, you have God the Father. You have Jesus as your good shepherd. So let us be good shepherds to one another. Amen. Let us all stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We are the flock guided and protected by Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who gave his life for us. Full of confidence in his compassionate love, let us pray to him. Jesus, good shepherd, hear our prayer. Jesus, good shepherd, hear our prayer. For the church, God's flock on earth, may she always be an example of unity, solidarity, and love under the care of God's representatives. Let us pray. Jesus, Good Shepherd, hear our prayer. For all the leaders of the Church, the Pope, 
the bishops, the priests. May they be good shepherds, totally devoted to the welfare and eternal salvation of their flocks. Let us pray. Jesus, Jesus good, good shepherd, shepherd, hear our prayer. For all the lay faithful, may they love their shepherds and experience God's loving care through them. Let us pray. Jesus, Good Shepherd, hear our prayer. For all parents, teachers, and other people responsible for others, may they always be conscious of the importance of their role and fulfill it with generous dedication. Let us pray. Jesus, Good Shepherd, hear our prayer. For the young Catholics called to the priesthood or the religious life, May they respond generously to the Lord's invitation and devote their lives to the good of God's people. Let us pray. Jesus, Good Shepherd, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life for our church and that God will raise up good shepherds in our midst. Let us pray. Jesus, Good Shepherd, Hear our prayer. Let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the petitions offered in this Holy Mass. Let us pray. Jesus, Good Shepherd, hear our prayer. Most loving Jesus, you laid down your life to protect us from the attacks of the evil one and to lead us to the pasture of eternal life. Grant that we may be appreciative of the salvation you earned for us. May we always follow you, our divine shepherd, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul Lord. shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above everything, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Do not allow me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the parish announcement. To coincide with the celebration of Good Shepherd Sunday, a ministry fair will be held on April 21 today and April 28, 2024 at the front and side of the church from 7 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Parishioners, male and female, age 18 to 65, are all invited to sign up as volunteer servants in the ministry of their choice. Different ministries, servants shall be available to accommodate volunteer applicants. Come and take the next step to dis discipleship by heeding God's call to be good stewards of your time, talent, and treasure for His glory share. For the ministry of altar server, the children who have received the first communion are qualified. Ang Department of Health, katuwang, katuwang ng ating lokal na pamahalaan, ay maaaring ay mayroong chikiting ligtas campaign na nagsimula noong nakaraang Abril 15, 2024 at matatapos sa Mayo 15, 2024. Ang bakuna laban sa polio ay para sa mga batang may edad 0 hanggang 50 siyam, 0 to 59, buwang gulang. Ito ay ligtas, epektibo at libreng ibinibigay sa ating mga health center. Maaari po kayong magtanong sa inyong health center para sa schedule ng pagbabakuna sa inyong lugar. Bakit kailangang bakunahan ng inyong anak na may edad 0 hanggang 50 siyam buwang gulang? Kailangang bakunahan ang lahat ng mga bata para mapigilan ang pagkalat ng sakit ng polio na maaaring mauwi sa outbreak. Magbigay ng dagdag na isang dose ng oral polio vaccine sa lahat ng batang may edad kahit na bakunahan na dati o hindi pa. Pinaka mapanganib ang sakit na polio sa mga batang wala pang limang taong gulang. Maaaring mahawa, mahawahan ang ating mga anak at mga bata sa ating komunidad kung wala silang proteksyon labang sa sakit na ito. Kaya't inaanyayahan po ang lahat ng mga magulang na may anak na edad 0 hanggang 50 siyam buwang gulang na pabakunahan na ang inyong mga chikiting. Thank you. Please all stand for the final blessing. Well, before the final blessing, I would like to reiterate no, our uh, uh, fair, no? ministry fair for today. Diyan po sa labas, may mga uh, misa po dyan no, na, na nakalagay. Ay mamili na po kayo kung gusto niyo pong maging magsi, maging MBG, uh, lay minister, altar server no, para sa mga bata. No? This is our way of giving back to the Lord what God has given to us, all the graces we receive from the Lord through all these years. Sana po ay wag po natin paglamutan ang Panginoon sa pagsiservisyo po dito sa ating parokya. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Through the resurrection of His Son, God has redeemed you and made you His children. May He fill you with joy. Amen. The Redeemer has given you lasting freedom. May you inherit His everlasting life. Amen. By faith, you rose with Christ in baptism. May your lives be holy so that you will be united with Him forever. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you and have a blessed Sunday. Thank you.